How active are you on LinkedIn? You might have a lot of connections, but do you have any recommendations? Welcome to Grow Time, where we talk about business, marketing, and technology, so you can grow from average Joe to CEO. Today we're gonna to talk about how to fine tune your LinkedIn recommendation strategy. First, let's start with the basics. What's the difference between a LinkedIn endorsement and a recommendation? I know this sounds a little confusing, but an endorsement is a one-click way for people to endorse the skills that are listed on your profile. You write a list of skills and people give you a thumbs up for each skill that they endorse. Simple as that. There's nothing for them to write. A LinkedIn recommendation is different. It's like a testimonial. Somebody writes a paragraph of content about how great you are and why someone should use your business, your services, or hire you. A recommendation is so much more powerful than an endorsement, but there's no way to ask for an endorsement and there is a way for you to ask for a recommendation. Here are three different types of people that you can ask recommendations from. Think about your coworkers, the people that you work for, the people that you work with, or the people that work for you. Those are great people that you spend a lot of time with and the chances are they have a lot of nice things to say about you. Then there's your customers. Your customers are the people that buy services or products from you. Many of them already trust you and chances are if they're buying from you, they like you. So if you invite them to leave a recommendation, they might just leave one and you'll look great to other future customers. And the third one is your networking and referral partners. The people that refer business to you or that you refer business to them or people that are part of the same association or community, those are great people to leave testimonials for you. Remember to be very specific when you're asking for a recommendation. That means if you just did a seminar and someone connected with you after the seminar, ask them to leave a recommendation about what they thought of that specific seminar. So how many recommendations do you have on LinkedIn? Let me know in the comments below, and we'll see you next week, same time, same place, Thursday at noon on growtime.tv, where we help grow your business, one entrepreneur at a time. Now wait a minute, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, comment in the box below, and let me know your strategies to get recommendations, and like this video. And for more episodes, go to www.growtime.tv and sign up for our newsletter. We send out a newsletter every week to those that subscribe, and we include extra tips. Hey, wait a minute. If you like this video, why don't you connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com slash joeapfelbaum and leave me a recommendation letting me know how great these Grow Time episodes truly are. I appreciate that very much and thank you for watching.